Growing up, on Saturday nights, my dad would bring his friends back from the local pub and they would all get drunk. Then my dad would play his guitar into the small hours and sing Irish songs that Grandad had taught him. Even though I didn't realise it at the time, this is when I fell in love with music. At the beginning of these sing songs, the house was rowdy and the tables in the kitchen and front room crammed with bottles of Irish whiskey and huge metal tins of beer called jackpots. The laughter was so contagious that despite the fact you were young and didn't quite understand, you found yourself joining in anyway and laughing along as well. Then later on, if they were so drunk that they let you stay up really late, you got to listen to the sad ones too. Their faces grew long in the veils of tobacco smoke that twisted and curled in the lounge lamplight. Even as a child, you could sense something was happening, spirits rising up from the foundations of the house, ghosts who weren't happy. We were in another country, and there was some kind of injustice going on right in front of our eyes that we kept forgetting about. The world we lived in was not our own. And there was something else, we were all going to die, the songs told you about that too. My dad's friends would sit so still as some old lady sang a warbling tune, her twinkling eyes staring into distances far beyond the living room, a place that I didn't know about yet. But this was the beginning of a lifetime of finding myself drawn towards the melancholy in music and art.